Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in Subnautica, where last time we, uh, had made the prawn suit, and I went ahead and customized it. Um, I still don't have a name for it yet, but that's something that can wait a little bit. We have our handy dandy sea moth that we have named Sephira, um, and yeah, we were, uh, continuing on with all of our continuations. Um, I was just continuing and I was doing some things in the background and decided, hey, you know what? I should take them along for the ride for some of these little things in the background because they're actually somewhat important things that should be probably done with people. Um, <laughs> that we've just been working on. So, um, I'll go show y'all the Neptune. Um, I went ahead and crafted the next section of the Neptune. Or the, the gantry, because it it's basically just a um, support system and a way to get into it. So I just, I built that real quick. Um, I'll go show y'all that in a little bit. And then the next part is the boosters, and turns out we need parts for these that we don't have right now. So that is something. Um, and then I was like, well, let's go ahead and go around and make some things and fiddle with some stuff. And decided that I'm sick and tired of the base getting shut down every night. So um, I need to make the thermal um, things. Wherever heck it went. Um, the thermal power... there it is. So we have the solar panels and they convert sunlight into electrical energy during the day, but that's only during the day. At night this would be very handy. So we'll need this thermal plant with the power transmitters. Um, but in order to do that we need aerogel. Aerogel requires one ruby and one gel sack. I went all the way over to that place with the darn that I found several rubies and a couple of gel sacks and I just no I couldn't find them. Um, if we have time today we might go over there and see if we can't do that but that's maybe. That's the only thing I need for that though. I have all of the other pieces I just need the arrow gel. Um, and then I died like twice searching things in there, in that general direction. Uh, especially on the way back. That was a weird, weird thing. So, um, yeah, that was, that was just a thing. Um, been waiting to do that. Uh, and on the way back I found a rack that had the pieces for the modification station. So, I was like, ooh, let's build that. And that's when I got on, I was like, wait, I should build out with them. Why do I, what am I doing? So, we're gonna go make the modification station. I already have all of the pieces for it. We just gotta figure out where I want to put it, uh, which is gonna be fun. Uh, dang, where is this, where is that? There. So, computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. So, I got all the pieces together and then had to step out of the game. So, we are ready to go ahead and build that. And then with that, I can go ahead and grab all the pieces that we have for some of these things that we need to make with the modification station. We already technically have the thermal blade, so I'm not going to make a second one with our other two uh, survival knives. That's absolutely fine. Um, we'll have to pin these as time goes on. I don't know if we'll want the additional air capacity or just the lighter for enhanced man maneuverability. Um, and then the ultra glide fins, um, we can spin faster. Or the swim charge fins, which allows us to charge our held tool while swimming. Um, we'll have to see how we want to do that. And then the depth module would be so amazing. Um, I think we'll go all the way to um, Mark 3 since we have all the pieces for that. So, anyway. Um, 
do I even have the habitat? Yes, I do. So, I am not entirely sure where we want to build this thing. Because we really need to. I just don't know where. We could build it, like, literally right in the middle. Why not? Right in the middle of this room. Sounds perfect. Alright. So we have our modification station. Um, it's a weird feeling. It didn't say anything about having it, finally, so. Hmm. Eh. Uh, let us go on ahead and unpin that. And then... So let's see. We need... Uh, a plasteel ingot, two silicon rubber, and titanium and lithium. Okay. That's gonna be a whole thing. Hang on. Let's pin this one for a minute. I don't think I have plasteel on hand. Why not just carry all of it with us? Um, that requires lithium. Actually, I think it requires two lithium. Why not? Yeah. One titanium ingot. Two lithium. I know I'm gonna need a couple of these for other things, so why not go ahead and just make them? Alright, so let's start with the O2 tank. That looks really cool. Alright, fins, silicon rubber, titanium, lithium, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Let's take a look real quick. So yes, we have this. They spilled maneuverability wrong. Okay, uh, so I need to go get lithium. Gosh darn it all. Well, so we'll have to go on a dive anyway. Um, hmm. One titanium. I have more than enough rubber. Actually, I think I have some over here in the in progress stuff. Yeah, so literally all I'd need is my fins and the lithium. Um, let's go on ahead and grab our Mark II, or Mark One, two magnetite and enamel glass. Um, that would go in quartz, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go out to Sephira, grab some food along the way. Perfect. I need to use that more. Um, that is goo. Hey. This, this Warning. is the problem. Emergency power only. Okay. It's a very big problem, actually. Where are you at? There you are. Hey, alone. Welcome aboard, Captain. Mark 
access the upgrades. The depth mark one does not stack. Okay. Y'all are being very mean right now. Oh shoot. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. <laughs> With power off, are we even capable of getting the modification station running? Yeah. Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, I guess that means we're going to put all this in to a oh deer. There we go. Game power, power restored. All primary systems online. Game power faster. Please. Hmm. This is annoying. Please. And then we could do the Mark Three with another piece of plasteel ingot. We need lithium and three rupees. Well, I know where we're going. <laughs> well, guys, y'all are going with me on a run to go to the place to go try to grab the things. So, let's go do this. Y'all behave. Let's find out how much more this makes this go. There you go. Access the upgrades. Put the Mark II in. Cross depth now 500 meters. That is nice. That'll be very nice. Okay, we don't have ultra glide fans. Gosh, darn it all. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, thank you. Um, titanium, silicon, silicon. I don't think the titanium ingots are part of that. No, not really. So those can go back into here and then salt. How many people would have been confused if I'd done the uh, symbols for everything? That would have been fun. Okay. Alright. Let us go. E. storage. No, I didn't do that last time. Alright. The one place we found stuff probably means we won't find stuff, but you know what? It's fine. I did find, I need to show y'all when we come back, I found a lot of, um, uh, what are they called? Gosh darn it. Creature eggs. I found a lot of creature eggs. It was really nice. So, we'll have to see if I can show y'all what I found. the backs of the reef bags a little bit. It was really fun. That is salt. Okay. Now we have a crush depth of 500 meters. That'll be nice to go ahead and explore. Alrighty. 
That does mean we could go and explore this other area that I had seen. Gosh dang. So many reflex over here. Why did we start drifting? Okay, so I don't think this was part of this base. What was that? Was that it? Nope, that was salt. And there's a thermal vent that I need. Ruby. of things attacking the ship last time I was over here, so we're gonna try and make sure that does not happen. Oh, and then I had one of those, um, there are these things, they're called mesmers. They try to convince you to come towards them so they can attack you. Where are you at? Oh, that shoot. Gosh darn it all. There he is. There he is. No, 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 no. I am very much good. I am very good. No, 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 no. No. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> it was after us. Oh boy. into his territory, didn't I? I really need to repair this thing. Well then, where is he? Ooh, there he is. You don't know where I'm at. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I think he's hungry, too. What do you think? How much I bet? Oh, that made him angry. I'd like to keep my sea moth today, please. Oh, he went back into the deep water. Okay. Why am I going to break for it? We are making a break for it. I should have kept to the area I knew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stay over here. Okay. Woo! Those just popped into existence. That zone that had the deep stuff. I don't hear him anymore, so that's something. Oh, hey. Here's my little space I was dying at. This place is fun. Fun and uh, you're gonna die like five times in it. It's a little series of caves and it does have a decent amount of shale outcroppings, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. But um, the amount of times I died in here. 
due to lack of oxygen. And then I couldn't figure out how to get back out. It was annoying. So, um, no thank you. What have we got? There's a mesmer. Those little things. Those things try to make you think that you're supposed to come closer. Yeah, I showed them why coming closer was not a good idea. Leave me alone. You are not going to like what happens if you get too much touchy-feely with me. You're not going to like it. Nice. Lithium. Well, that was one piece of lithium. Gold. Let's see. Yeah, get too touchy-feely with my thing and you're not going to like it. So, where is it? things I don't really need right now. I want lithium. It's lead. That one was lithium. Gold. Where is it at? Those little things. I taught a couple of them why not to mess with me, and they seem to understand. Yeah? You? You want it? Come at me, bro. Okay, I am going to need oxygen soon. And then those darn, um... Those electric eel things, they... I'm going! They discovered aboard, why. Captain. Or I guess, or my sea moth discovered why they were not fun. Yeah. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. You know why? Because they're mean. They're little jerks. Keep trying to attack my darn Sima. For no reason other than the fact that they can. Alright, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. sandstone right now. I need the shale. So that's the only thing that has lithium. Is that it? Yeah. Ah, ah. Yes, that's what I need. Okay. I mean, I won't say no to a piece of ruby. things. Someone's been touching it. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Yes, I do think I have that creature egg. We have three pieces of lithium. So that's nice. I don't recognize that creature roar. Which doesn't mean much. It's probably the reef backs, honestly. Another piece of ruby. I don't think I need Ruby right now. Ouch. That was my fault. It's one of those things. 
those things seem to have a if you don't bother me I won't bother you kind of mindset about life and then just all of a sudden you just find them attacking your stuff there's a thermal vent but that is a different is it? that is a completely different creature egg than the one I've had before trade Let us get a drink of water. Hmm. I do get the feeling that that thing would probably come after my stuff if I had the lights on too much. I think I'm gonna find any more gel sacks over here though. Unfortunately. I saw it too late. Alright, fine. The only thing really coming at us is going to be reef back. All right, though we got we got several pieces of lithium. Nice. Can't go on ahead and get back in here. I think I've been in that one. And if I haven't, I don't need that badly. Is that quartz? No, that's quartz. Hey, it's about time to repair. I think I found it at the darn hole area. If not, it was at the deep area and I don't want to go over there right now. So... I'm gonna call it a sec. Okay. Let us hope that it is powered up a little bit. to get the depth module back out because that was something we were about to upgrade somewhere. Ah, that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So, let's see. First off, we're going to grab our titanium silicate and then take off our pins. <coughs> Very nice. And then I'm going to unpin that and then plasteel two magnetite and an animal glass. Gosh darn it all. Okay. Um the creature eggs. Yes, we do have that creature egg that I dropped. There's so many variety, so much variety. So this guy I found over there and then this one. I'm pretty sure this one is those electrical eel things. And I feel like if we have that in an aquarium, I would feel more comfortable getting close enough to it to be able to scan it. No idea what this will be. Probably the um, uh, tank shark things. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then... Uh, where is Mark 3? 
I'm gonna pin that up. I need a couple more pieces of ruby and... Oh, I was looking at that. Oops. A plasteel ingot, so I need... A... Couple of these. No, I need one of these. I need two more rubies. Well, I hope this is worth it, because this is a lot of really big resources. going to need the prawn suit depth module uh, mark one before we can do that. And then there's our ultra glide fins. They don't look any different right now, but that's fine. Um, so let's see. So I made the cool. Have we made mark one? And if so, do I have it in? No, I made the depth module. Or no. The hall reinforcement, so Prawn suit depth module requires nickel ore. Of course it does. That is already faster, yeah. Okay then. That is gonna be something. That is already faster, and then let's see it with this. Oh, that feels dangerously fast. Okay. Nice. Very nice, actually. I mean, it already felt dangerously fast. That's cool. Sweet. So, we kind of went maneuverability instead of other things. That's fine. Gosh, every time it still says there's more fragments out there, and I'm like, I went and got them all. And we're at a uh, range of 400 meters. So there is that. The creature eggs, unfortunately, there are too many of them in this region that are the same thing. So there is all kinds of stuff. Well, we have the. modification station, so we could make a bunch of these things. I don't think we need the propulsion repulsion can can uh, cannons anymore. Um, we could try to do the ultra high capacity tank, but I feel like that just is going into dangerous territory. Um, but yeah. I just feel like leaving the propulsion cannon in here. Okay, um, I am going to go on ahead though and reset some of our batteries, uh, and we're going to have to see what we have from there. I do not know what I'm doing. Why do I- I just remembered I still have this on me. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to go somewhere and attempt to figure out what I'm doing for, um, the arrow jail. Because that is important. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put in these ones that have somewhat less battery. I'm just staying on top of it at this rate. Okay, so, um, yeah, 
Okay, we need to go back out and get more things. Just that brush with death uh, kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, that was actually very scary. The thing coming after us. The um, Reaper Leviathan? Is that what they're called? We haven't actually scanned it yet. So that'll be a thing. Oh, here we go. Um. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame Star War. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Okay. And this here is... You are currently inside a long calcified root system. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Yeah. So we found some things. Um, the reinforced dive suit we're going to have to make. It's reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Made for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable when wearing the suit. The reinforced dive suit. Why take chances when you can take Altera? <laughs> Basically, we do need to make that, so we're going to have to do that. Um, the habitat installations will be the water filtration system. Okay. Any liquid into pure, refreshing pH balanced water. Yes, sir. Any liquid. Okay. So that'll be nice when we get there. Data downloads. Oh, I found life pod 6. I did go on ahead and do that because that was just easier. You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop winding it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Well, now we know what happened to Life Pod 6. They had a fun person on board. The charter. Okay. Trans government. Okay. Cool. I don't want to read it. It's way above my pay grade. Magnetite. Essential for advanced fabrication, you think? It's an iron oxide valued for its magnetic potential, amongst other qualities. It is used in many federation technologies, including sonar and torpedo systems. Hmm. The tree mushrooms. Exploitable. The analysis of these large organic structures reveals a microorganism of cooperating, cohabitating, and competing life forms. The main trunk is a species of coral, some colonies up to 50,000 years old. The caps which line its share, more in common with earth fungi, where other organisms grow on the structure where there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the 1 milliliter, one millimeter to 10 millimeter range, to the extent that larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Area, excuse me. Exploitable. Okay, I haven't figured it out yet, but that's fine. Uh, for carnivores, the bone shark. Assessment: Avoid. Maybe distracted by light sources. Generally slow and unresponsive. As a means of energy conservation, they will act with uncompromising speed and aggression against any threat to their territory. Large and powerful predator that lives in small groups and fiercely defends its hunting grounds. Yeah. It's a thickly armored exoskeleton. Suggests defensive adaptation, either to larger predators or in-species aggression. Marks similarity to the segmented exoskeleton of the sand shark, suggesting a relatively recent common ancestor. And large eyes. 
consistent with high light sensitivity, likely for hunting of luminescent prey in low light environments. Yeah, I can see that. The Mesmer. God, these things. Small carnivorous life forms with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. Out of wings. The Mesmer swims using a number of wings, which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages, interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by, by the target. So ours sounded like our PDA voice, and it was telling us it was in our best interest to approach this creature. Outer shell. The mesmer can open the jawlike recess in its protective outer shell in order to share its beauty. Do not resist. <laughs> Uh, assessment draw closer. Uh, no. It likes to eat things. That's what it does. Um, not horribly threatening, but still it does do a little bit of damage. The sand shark has a lot of teeth. Powerful, medium sized predator that burrows into the sand and ambushes its prey from below. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract sand sharks by feeding any hungry specimens that draw close. As a forward dorsal fin, the unusual location of this fin suggests a purpose unrelated to movement through the water. It may be employed in shifting sand beneath the surface, or in mating rituals, or may simply be an evolutionary dead end. Uh, thick armor plating renders the sand shark almost immune to attack from above. While it is capable of impressive acceleration, its exoskeleton prevents it from changing direction quickly. The sand shark is thus a perfectly designed ambush hunter, but ill-suited to sustained pursuits. Yeah. It has feet. Ill-designed des Ill for ambulation, likely used to disturb the surface of the sand so the life form from can burrow into the ground. Husband, avoid. Be vigilant for ambush in sandy biomes. Oh wow. It's got little feet on the bottom. That's actually kind of funny. It's actually very funny looking. I didn't. You don't get a good enough look at them out there. Stalkers, we've been over. Stalker teeth. Extended analysis of acquired dental samples has been completed. Samples matched to species designated stalker. Stalker teeth exhibit extraordinary lightness and strength and contain only trace amounts of calcium. The edges show signs of wear and are studded with metal flakes, providing evidence that the stalker chews on metal deposits in order to sharpen their teeth. Assessment. Applications as a natural substrate in enameled glass fabrication, which we have used already. Uh, the jelly ray. These things are cool. Um, they have adapted to low-light environments with a translucent, luminescent body. Uh, this adaptation may help to light up the surrounding area for foraging, ward away predators, and identify the organism to others of its kind. Smaller creatures have been seen swimming in the jelly ray's wake to take advantage of the light source for their own ends. The ray itself will approach light sources, perhaps mistaking them for others of its own species. Inedible. Of course it is. I finally was able to scan a boomerang. They have serrated teeth, twin fins. They are edible, most active during daylight hours and prone to flee on approach. The boomerang can more easily be observed at night when its luminescence gives it away and it seeks the shelter of the seabed. An herbivore encountered in large numbers found to frequent shallow waters and move in schools. And then the eye eye, I scanned this thing because I saw one all lit up. It was um infected. An extremely evolutionary adaptation oh an extreme, excuse me. Where ninety percent of the life form's body mass is dedicated to the ocular cavity. So the oversized eyeball underdeveloped fins. This organism and the common peeper share a common evolutionary ancestor. While the II has sacrificed maneuverability, it shares and enhances its cousin's powerful eyesight. The ancestral Alpha Peeper may have been one of the first life forms on 4546B to develop eyesight many millions of years ago. Edible. However, it has a low calorie count. 
Uh, we haven't got any love of high essence. The bleeders. Hey, I, I hate these things. Simple parasitic organism, a little more complex than common space tick, but just as dirty. That's a ductile sac. Used for collection and digestion of blood drawn from host creatures. Um, jaw has rows of teeth and mandibles used to attach to the skin of its victim. Those things were annoying. Behavior. The bleeders, low speed and poor defenses suggest they have evolved primarily as carrion feeders, but they are also prone to target larger living creatures which are less likely to notice and take action against this parasite. Inconvenient and unhygienic. Avoid or incapacitate. Great. I finally got around to scanning the creep vine seeds. Um, it's, it's a seed and it makes rubber and things. So, yeah. The anchor paws, the bulb bushes. Furled papyrus, jelly shroom, predators, not identified. Yeah, it has a possible symbiotic relationship with the other creatures in the area that we weren't able to get. The membrane tree, I'm not gonna read all of these. Tree leech, uh, The internetal, violet bow, all kinds of things. Flora, indigenous life forms. <laughs> Good luck. Whoever you are, whoever you're from, I wish you the best of luck. Always make sure you are full of food when going out in search of resources and always have at least three bottles of water in your inventory. And try to always keep an eye on your oxygen levels. You'll regret passing out with an inventory full of resources. I sure am going to miss this place. Good luck. Uh huh. Cool. So. I, I have a thing about things being left open, so, or undone, so, my attempt at getting some of our notifications out of the way. Cool. So, yay, we have the modification station. We have a lot of modifications acquired for our items. Um. We have maneuverability right now, but it might be within our best interest to also get the high capacity one eventually. Um, other than that, we really need to get some air gel. Aero gel. So that means getting um, things. Unfortunately. Gosh darn it all. Anyway, um,. Next time we'll have to go down to, uh, deep, I think? There, or I want to finish the life pods, because there is one way the world over there. It's 500 meters below that direction. That's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? So, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to put this salt in here, and next time we're gonna have to see what we're gonna go do um probably deep because we need the um the air sacs and that'll be important and it'll be nice to be able to go down deeper with the sea moth anyway thank you all so much for joining me today if y'all could do please leave a like uh leave any tips tricks suggestions in the comment section down below and do please subscribe I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.